Somehow I managed to oversleep. And on the big day, luckily, I arrived right on the money. It was some big deal. They were opening the tomb of some big shot pharaoh. The kids had given up their summer vacation to come and help the professor. Just think, this tomb has remained undisturbed for thousands of years. <laughs> this is exciting. I'm all equipping. Who knows what lies behind these doors? Untold treasures, <laughs> perhaps. No, oh, great! Mysteries! I hate mysteries. Laugh trap. Shush. Just open the tomb, you silly little man. Sir Alistair Loveless was a big mucky muck from the London Museum. But he sure smelled like trouble. Hello YouTubers, my name is Saber and welcome to my Let's Play for Clue Finders 4th Grade Adventures. Woo! Yay! Finally got this game from Software McKeev and it, and it was actually available as a download this time. That's pretty cool. Uh, the thing is, when I downloaded the game, I didn't realize I had to unzip the thing from a, like a, this, this little zip file thing. <laughs> That's what you have to do. You have to do it manually instead of having it do it automatically for you. <laughs> I found that out after I talked to McKeeve about it. So, um, Anyway, wow. I can't believe I'm playing a Clue Finders game again. <laughs> this is so cool. So yeah, you see my name on there because I was doing a little test run with this game to see if it works pretty well. And yes, I did notice that the filler music in the beginning did not run so I don't know why it's doing that but oh well <laughs> what can you do um so before we get started um, I just wanted you know that 
Um, I really appreciate you guys following me on Twitter, Facebook, or whatever. And um, and I just want to let you know that this is a really cool. Who are you talking to? My audience, Mom. <sighs> All right, fine. Let's just get this over with before my mom thinks I'm crazy. I should put a do not disturb sign on my door. Wait, is that wrong? Huh, interesting. All right, let's go. I hate being right all the time, but my instincts told me something bad would happen, and boy, did it ever. We'd all gone back to the dig early, but the place was deserted. Everything's gone. Where's the professor? How'd they get all that stuff out of here without being seen? Probably an inside job, and I had a pretty good idea who was behind it. I got a feeling the professor is in trouble. You gotta help him. How are we gonna do that, Joni? We needed a lucky break. Something left behind, or... Yes! Ooh. Hey, Socrates found a hidden door. Good boy. Oh, my. That still creeps me out. I wonder what it is. Oh, Egyptian kings were always buried with spells of protection and other important rites. <coughs> this one was hidden away from the other treasures, so it must be very important. And it's our own clue. How can we read it? We need to find someone to translate this scroll. Let's All right, so it's the start of the game, and already we got our first puzzle. Woohoo! All right, this is a simple math puzzle. You know, the Clue Finders has always been known for school puzzle, school-based puzzles, like for um, math, science, and all that stuff-based puzzles. Uh, or should I say, education-based puzzles? And for right now, we're looking. And right now we're looking at a multiplication puzzle. So, unless you don't know multiplication, wait, that's an odd way to say that. I mean, I mean that's just awful. All right, let's just. All right. Um. Well, actually, you know what? Let's. I'm not going to use my calculator right now. <laughs> uh. And, um, I already know what the answer is. So, 20 times 6 equals 100. Wait. I think it's 120. Yeah. Step aside. Give me the way you traps in charge. Yes. Translate the scroll. Meow. Stop. No. 
Halt! No. Oh boy, customers! I didn't hear you come in. Not again. Sorry about that. You caught me napping. When you're five thousand years old, you need lots of rest. Five thousand years old? Wait a minute. Hey, if you're so old, do you recognize this? Uh, this, this. As a matter of fact, this scroll tells of an ancient evil. Yeah. I knew the professor was in trouble. Whoever took your professor is up to no good. He wants to unleash the power of Set, the ancient Egyptian embodiment of chaos. Oh, great! I hate chaos. How can we stop him? Legend has it that the ancients built a mysterious place of power. Those worthy enough to enter would be granted the power needed to stop Set. This scroll has five clues that will guide you on your first step toward locating this place of power. But wait, the clues are written in an ancient code. I can't read this without chiroglyphs. Oh, chiroglyphs. Uh, what are chiroglyphs? Ancient pottery pieces with letters carved upon them. Bring me back 12 chiroglyphs, and I'm sure I can decipher the first clue. But where can we find these mysterious chiroglyphs? Hey, you're the clue finders, not me. But it shouldn't be too hard. Luckily, this is the chiroglyph district. Everyone around here collects chiroglyphs. You can count on us. <laughs> Those kids are going to do fine. <laughs> Who wants to bet that man is... Not 5,000 years old. I suppose anyone would, would win that bet instantly. Alright, uh, after this, we're going to explore around the town. So, um, uh, to find, um, yeah, to find those chiroglyphs, of course. <laughs> Sorry. Mine's going crazy. Yeah, um, uh, see you next time.